All right, welcome back. Now, um, it's no doubt at all that Nigerians have got rights and that uh, these rights are clearly spelled out in the Nigerian constitution. As a matter of fact, uh, everybody knows as a human being or as a citizen of this country, um, we've all got rights. But the problem is that not many of us actually know what our rights are. We know we've got these rights, but not many of us know what those rights are and, or even what to do when those rights are breached. Now, there's a group known as uh, the Constitutional Rights Awareness and Liberty Initiative that has actually come up with an app that enables Nigerian citizens, not just Nigerian citizens, but even foreigners living in Nigeria now, it enables them to know their rights. So all you just need to do is basically if you've got an Android powered phone, just go to your phone, your smartphone and um, click on the app, open it and then you've got this um, rights all staring you in the face and then you have an idea of um, what to do when these rights are breached you know what the rights are you know that it goes it actually goes beyond knowing your rights and knowing what to do when your rights are breached and of course i've got uh, the creator of that initiative in the studio here who would explain better how the app now works and and what people should know more about it uh, i have adol adol Lade, who is the creator of know your rights nigeria uh, here with us adol thank you very much for coming on the program um you're a young man, no doubt at all, and quite wonderful that you've created this initiative. But could, could you let us know more about this app and, and why you decided to create it? Okay, uh, no, you're right. Uh, Nigerian app uh, actually simplifies all uh, human rights in force in Nigeria uh, in a simple English and pidgin languages. Uh, English oh, for those who. Pidgin language yes, version. we have uh, English and pidgin language. Though in the same app, you don't need to download English differently from uh, pidgin, but one app, if you want to download, I mean, you want to access it in English, uh, there's a place to pre press English. If you want it in pidgin, there's a place to uh, press uh, it in pidgin and you, you go through it. It actually simplifies all manners of rights we have. Like uh, if anybody's invited to the police station, for example, uh, you can quickly peruse the, I mean, your right at the police station before you actually go there. And if you're invited, to come and write statements at the police station because anybody can be invited at any mm. point in time for one matter or the suspicious uh, issue or whatever. Uh, you know uh, how to write your statements uh, without uh, uh, running into problem. And of course, as a tenant, uh, you should know your right. We have right of tenants, uh, right of landlords, and so all manners of rights. Even if you want to buy properties, five documents you need to see before you buy properties. These are all rights we so have there. Not just, not just about the fundamental human rights. Right, Even part of socioeconomic rights uh, we, we, we also have there. And then apart from all this uh, right uh, to educate Nigerians on the scope of their rights and responsibilities, uh, we have uh, a place where you can also chat lawyers. We have 50 lawyers standby okay, on the app. And uh, what you need to do is when you have any human rights issues uh, that are arising in your daily lives mm -hmm. and uh, you don't know how to go about it, it's beyond your understanding, you are confused, you don't know how to go about it again, you just have to uh, download the Know Your Rights Nigeria app from your Google Play Store and that of course we, for those who don't also have Androids we make provision for web version of Know Your Rights Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have Android phone and you, you can access Know Your Rights Nigeria app through Google Play Store you can also go to the web version by just logging to www.knowyourrightsnigeria.com So on this just uh, there is a place where you can chat lawyers, but the lawyers will only respond to human rights issues alone. If you are, okay. maybe you are evicted, uh, I mean, forcefully or wrongfully by your landlord, when uh, you, I mean, without following the due process, or maybe any form uh, of attack. Lawyers will get the complaints instantly. Uh, yes, you you, you you just ask our lawyers. Lawyers will respond to you. It's free of charge. But like I mentioned, strictly human rights issues. If you are having a corporate business issues that you have to go and meet your lawyers. Your lawyers are there uh, to actually respond. Mm -hmm. Then aside that, uh, getting lawyers, uh, we also have platforms where you can actually report violation of your rights immediately without wasting any time. You don't need like, oh, uh, my right has been violated just now. I don't even know who to talk to, who will help me, somebody help me. No, just from your heart. For example, uh, if you are violated by anybody, you can report who will take it up. And of course, the, if, that, that's your organization will take it up yes. or you report to the appropriate agencies. It, it, it depends on the circumstance. If you are violated by maybe your neighbor and that of course you don't know how to go about it, immediately you report to the lawyers. If it's just counsel, the lawyers need to give you, they will give it to you. But if it's a matter we need to take up, 
to enforce your rights. David Eli, the team, the organization, uh, as a number of lawyers, even pro including, bono. yes, pro bono, including senior advocate of Nigeria, uh, because in our advisory board members, we have senior advocate of Nigeria, uh, who also promised to always take up abuse of rights of people pro bono, free of charge. We don't ask anybody for money. Then, now, if it has to do with security, uh, I mean, forces, or for example, with Nigerian police, uh, maybe, maybe you are violated by an officer of Nigerian police. Uh, the good news is that even the Nigerian police, despite that uh, people always say, oh, Nigerian police is this or that, uh, we, they also have a unit. Yeah, uh, they, they set up the, uh, the, the CRU. Yes, yeah, CRU unit, where you can actually report from, through our app, you can get access to the, uh, the CRU unit of the Nigerian police force and then uh, make your complaint. Uh, and of course, if you have any uh, violation, I mean, human rights issues with the Nigerian army, through the help, you can access uh, the human rights desk of the Nigerian army. Maybe you've just bought uh, uh, I mean, a bottle of water and it's contaminated, very injurious to your head. You can, through the help, you can report directly uh, to a Consumer Protection Council. Maybe a last mile officer in Lagos, for those who are descended in Lagos, uh, you've, your car has been impounded indiscriminately, wrongfully. There is a, uh, I mean, a majesty number where you can as well call and report uh, the officer to. And you're doing all of this free of charge? Yes, it has to be free because uh, uh, the rich can afford to enforce their rights when their, their rights are freed upon. Uh, but ordinary people on the street, uh, uh, most people cannot be able to, I mean, cannot afford uh, legal services. Uh, but actually, it's not really for legal services per se in terms of business. But virtually, what we do has an us to human rights. Uh, having to be here uh, is as a result result of my freedom of expression. Uh, 360 TV is as a result of freedom of expression to establish. Even we, we look at the right of all media practitioners there, a uh, right not to disclose, I mean, source of your information and so on and so forth, even for bloggers, mm -hmm. those who blog these days. But uh, they, it's beyond also knowing your right, your, your responsibilities are there as well. Uh, because if I continue to stretch my hands because I have the right to stretch my hands and I'm moving close to you, uh, then my hands will actually hit you. So uh, your, your right, scope of your right and responsibility Possibility. And we also try to let people to understand that your right to smoke is where another man knows, uh, begins. So these are things we do. Uh, for example, like we mentioned here that you can report police officer. That does not really mean that the HAP is anti-police. We also explain yeah. the scope of the power of the Nigerian police. Please have the power to effect uh, arrest. But we always say lawful arrest. arrest. Okay. Uh, they, we also advise people that when you are arrested, because some people will say, oh, where's your search warrant before you can arrest me? Of course, there are some offenses that uh, you need search warrant before you can arrest somebody. But in a situation whereby somebody kills just now in my presence, do you expect me to go, I mean, I mean, warrant of arrest, pardon me, and do I need to, uh, to go to the magistrate's court or to any, to get a warrant of arrest before I come back to arrest you? So the, the, the rules and the exceptions, we simplify everything for everybody to understand. It doesn't matter if you don't speak uh, English or you don't understand English, if you are mama lodger, if you are a driver, if you are selling tomatoes, if you are selling, uh, I mean, okay, the, the pidgin language, the pidgin language will take care of that. And we, we made the pidgin language in such a way that when you are even uh, going through it, you'll be laughing because we, we make it very inter interactive, interesting, and it's element of humor. So that it, it shouldn't be when you are panic, I mean, when you are worried, when you are bothered, uh, that you only need it. Even at your own little time, if you are not arrested, you are not buying properties, you don't have any issues, you can peruse everything. But we also warn people that uh, after perusing it, because many things you've never come across, mm. you will get to know it. But that does not really mean that you're on top of human rights. Okay? You just have to be guided by your lawyers, for those who have lawyers. And for those who don't have lawyers, if it has to do with serious human rights issues, okay, definitely you will need to, I mean, I mean, I mean. And, and what has the reception been like uh, since you unveiled it? Fantastic. Because uh, we, we started on radio, uh, Unilag FM, 80 years ago to educate Nigerians. We, I mean, provided uh, dedicated lines for people to call us, share legal issues with us, and we respond. And at the point in time, we started getting, uh, I mean, a kind of a feedback from people outside uh, Lagos from there was a time I got a call from somebody from uh, Kaduna and uh, Kano uh, that uh, it has to do with tenancy and landlord issues. And uh, we, we started, uh, I mean, trying to, to be of it. But we felt that the radio has a limitation of, uh, I mean, of, of, of coverage. Then we introduced uh, social media. But uh, yes, people outside Lagos enjoy the social media empowerment. But we also realized that there is a limitation to 
what we can do with social media because only people who follow us understand that yeah. we're having such empowerment. Then we thought of how people can assess their rights with a push of button on their palm. So we, we, we carried out opinion poll, we, we sampled opinion. We realized that most Nigerians are using Android. So we, we, we want a situation whereby Nigerians can assess their rights wherever they are, whether you are in a village, you are in a city, maybe you are in the north, maybe you are even creek in Niger Delta or you are in Onitsha, or you are at, in Benue State. So any way you are, provided you have a phone, you can access Know Your Right Nigeria. And if you don't have Android phone, just with a website, I mean web version, www.knowyourrightnigeria.com, then you can know your right. You know where to speak to. I mean, who, who, who to talk to when you have issues. And uh -huh. you know where to report when your rights are valid. And fundamentally, this, this is all free of charge. Yes, There's free. no charge at all. That's free. FT, <laughs> yeah, exactly free of charge. Thank you very much, uh, Adeola, for coming on the program. And you're also uh, a United Nations Peace Ambassador. Uh, just keep up the good work. And um, this, I believe, will definitely grow. And uh, a lot of people will come on the platform. I just hope the app doesn't crash. No, it won't crash. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that's it on the program. If you want to watch it again, just log on to our website, tv 360 com. You'll find this video and lots more there. You can also watch us on our YouTube channel. The address is youtube.com forward slash TV360 Nigeria. Do subscribe to get the latest videos and updates. You can join us on Google Plus and uh, that's at TV360 Nigeria or like us on Facebook. The address is facebook.com forward slash TV360 online. You can also follow us on Twitter. It's at TV360 online. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next week.